Coming to you live from a Walmart parking lot in a men's restroom, this is Thick Man Inc. We are live here with your host, top 100 Madden player, Tristan Kilgannon, and ESPN featured athlete, Isaiah Ashley. We're going to give you our thoughts on the recent coaching carousel that has been going on in the NFL. As always, timestamps are down in the description below if you'd like to skip around. Like the video, subscribe, share, anything, any little thing helps us out. Let us know what you think. We are going to first start with the Cowboys coaching hire of Mike McCarthy. And my opinion on this topic is that the Cowboys are never going to win another Super Bowl as long as Jerry Jones is alive and the owner of the team. Man talks shit to the press after games about his coaches. When the Cowboys lose week one on primetime, he's going to go, oh, I think we should have played a little bit better, coach a bit better on offense, etc. Special teams messed up. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. He needs to sell the franchise or completely remove himself. Everyone, 8-8 eight eight season, divisional or wild card round exit, and Jerry Owens, being the owner of this team, doesn't lend itself to success. <laughs> well, one, Jerry Jones is one of the best general managers in football. Just look at the team he's put out on the field. But I think that Mike McCarthy is a pretty solid <laughs> Oh, look one at the Cowboys. results he's gotten. Particularly when you look at the fact Jerry was looking for someone who has NFL head coaching experience. That eliminated a lot of guys like Erd Meyer, dude from Oklahoma. But despite what you may have say, the real issue with McCarthy and Green Bay, he had issues with Aaron Rodgers, and he never really had a great defense around him, excluding when he won the Super Bowl. My opinion on that is the defense has already been built in Dallas. I don't think Dak is as much of a diva as Aaron Rodgers. I could see them winning a Super Bowl, but I think this is a substantial upgrade over Jason Garrett, who you and I both think is awful. Yeah, but my one thing that I thought was really weird about this hire is that they decide to keep Kellen Moore. And this kind of hints at the fact that they're going to keep Dak. They still have an extended Dak, which is also weird. But Moore, he, I mean, they weren't special at with him at OC. And McCarthy's only thing, like his calling card and what was publicized when he was a head coach, he was once called the best offensive or regarded as the best offensive play caller in the NFL. So for him not to be calling plays and letting that duty go to Kellen Moore, I think that's kind of questionable in saying that he's going to completely reshape the defense. That's not what he's done before. So I'm interested to see how that goes. I don't know. I'm not completely sold on Mike McCarthy and the Jerry Jones partnership. Now I think Mike McCarthy is still a good coach, but I don't, I think it's kind of weird how the whole situation is going to work Has out. Has it been confirmed that he won't be calling plays? Or are you just assuming that based on the fact they kept their coordinator? No, he's, that's what it's been reported. reported. Now that could change come the season. If, yeah, I could see that changing come the season, even midway through the season, if it continues to be an issue. I don't think it will be an issue. You and I clearly disagree. I sense a twinge of bias, which is so uncommon for us in your take on the Cowboys. I am always give my 100% accurate, unbiased opinion on the Dallas Cowboys. I'm sure. Would you like to hear my unbiased, 100% objective opinion on the New York Giants hires? Well, do you want do you want to start off, or do you want me to go – Start I've off. got quite the little – yeah, I'll let you start off and I'll crush your hopes and dreams. Go on. <laughs> All right, so with the New York Giants, being a New York Giants fan, things have been so bad over the past few years for the Giants as they let go of Hall of Fame coach Tom Coughlin for Ben McAdoosh to incompetent Shermer. I saw they hired Joe Judge and thought to myself, you know what? It can't get any worse at this point. There's not much worse you can do than four wins. I do not know if it's going to be a good hire – what I do know is that he was a pass and he was also the Patriots special teams coach. Receivers weren't so great, but they had the best special teams in the NFL, uh, which is a more determining factor. Time will only tell. But what thing that's something that made him me highly question his sanity is when he hired Jason Garrett, the redhead, beady eyed man from Dallas. And his comment on him is that he did a fantastic job of making in-game adjustments at the Dallas Cowboys. And I instantly thought, are you kidding me? You really think this guy who is constantly getting flamed in the media for not making adjustments, not being creative, not inspiring his hand, just clapping on the sideline, not calling timeouts at the right time. You can go on and on about things he's constantly flamed for in media, not doing. And you're saying you're the one comment you have to make about the hires is he did a fantastic job of making in-game adjustments. This comment alone worries me for Joe Judge's future in the NFL. But as far as bringing in a new coach, someone who doesn't have much experience, 
what can go wrong at this point? Because they brought in Shermer, sucked. They brought in McAdoo, sucked. So it's trial and error at this point. I've got one word to describe the Giants coaching errors this year. Yikes. So the Giants were supposed to hire the Baylor coach, Matt Rule. Rule had taken an organization that was mired in controversy over the past three years and brought them to one game away from the college football playoffs without the best players in college, which is something no one else can really say. Instead, the Panthers swooped in and took them right from under the Giants' noses. In response, the Giants panicked and hired the Patriots' wide receivers coach and special teams coordinator. What was the unanimous critique of the Patriots' offense last year? Their wide receivers stunk. Judge's lack of experience well, I address that. as a coordinator will likely mean he's okay. He'll be the OC and end up going. Excuse me. One moment, please. Judge's experience as a wide receiver and special teams coach means he's probably not going to end up calling too many plays, meaning the offensive coordinator will take duties for that. Speaking of the Giants' offensive coordinator, they've gone and hired Jason Garrett, the man who everyone in the NFL – thought was a below average coach and what was really holding the Dallas Cowboys back and had his own team quit on him during a New York Jets football game and throughout the rest of the year. With coaches like these, there are clearly some missing pieces, some room for uh, improvement. And you know how you fill out that coaching staff? You hire Freddie Kitchens. This is the guy who took the QB who had broke the rookie touchdown passing record and made him a laughing stock. He took one of the best rosters in the NFL to a 6-10 and 10 record. Again, yikes. Now, I know you're logic about not freaking out about it, about it during trial and error. That's fine. Like you've said to me once, he hasn't failed as a coach yet. But of the 10 or so former coaches that have come from Bill Belichick, eight have had losing records in the NFL. One of the other ones. But there's also Nick Saban, Mike Vrabel, Bill Bryan's been okay. Mike Vrabel is the exception. And Nick Saban failed at the NFL level. Don't try and prop him up as an example. But he's been a phenomenal, a legendary college record coach. Is Bill O'Brien, who has been, was, kind of held the Texans back. He was vastly criticized after the Chiefs game this year. But by far the best one right now is Vrabel gone to the AFC Championship game. He's a pretty meaningful guy. Doing the math, that's like a one-in-five shot of a former Belichick coach working out. I wouldn't be loving those odds. Pair that with the fact the last three Giants coaches have ever been terrible coaches, terrible people, or in the case of Ben McAdoo, both. And I'd say it's going to mean more of the same for the New York Giants, <laughs> particularly since the roster has more holes than a piece of Swiss cheese. I don't know. They, you know, they get decent in the receiver room. They got a good tight end. They got a good running back. They got the goat, Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes. Things aren't looking as bad as you may they think. They don't have an offensive Maybe they line. They don't have a secondary. Their wide receiver can't get his girlfriend pregnant. Anywho. <laughs> oh, another note on Garrett. Something that concerns me. He hasn't called play since 2012. So. Can't wait for that to change. Bit of, a ring, ru- bit of ring rust right there. <laughs> Thoughts on Freddie Kitchens? Freddie, what do you mean Freddie Kitchens? Freddie Kitchens got brought in or is very likely will be brought in. That is what the rumor mill is saying. He's not been brought in. Freddie Kitchens, yeah, that's what it's circling. He will be brought in. Yeah, but he hasn't officially been brought in. Assuming the rumors are true, what are your thoughts on that? Assuming Freddie Kitchens interviews New York Giants, possible landing spot, not a lock to end up on Giants staff. X Browns not a lock to join Judge's staff. So I'm reading things that it's not a lock, so that doesn't sound close. I mean, he worked with Judge in college, but... I mean, if he ends up there, it's not... I mean, he was a... I mean, I guess he did his job before he was a head coach. I just think he probably sucks at a head coach and doesn't know how to handle an organization. But I can't judge his coaching jobs before that because I didn't really pay attention to what he did. But anywho, moving on, we're going to go a bit quicker through these next few. Starting off, the Redskins hired Ron Rivera. I don't hate this move. He was clearly the best guy with head coaching experience available, best Panthers coach in their history. But the fans kind of turned on him after Cam Newton kept getting hurt and Kyle Allen started failing. But hopefully now that Bruce Allen's out of the way, he'll be able to guide the Redskins organization back to relevance. Although with Dan Schneider, I don't know how you're going to be able to do that. Uh, I also think it's the best coaching hire at all the head coaching hires. He won coach of the year three times, has a history of building incredible defenses, has gone to the Super Bowl. I'm a little surprised he chose to go with the Redskins with all the dysfunction they historically have going on. He doesn't have to move that far down the road. 
maybe that was part of it. I think hopefully he'll do a good job with Dwayne Haskins. He's uh, pr- proceeding with caution, saying he's not ready to commit. They got other quarterbacks on the roster. He really wants to see Dwayne Haskins' leadership develop. So, And another thing is, like, it seems the owner's letting him – do whatever he wants. He's letting him bring in a whole entire new staff. So as a Redskins fan, it looks like they're trying to rebuild the organization. The I think the president got fired. So maybe turning a, they may be turning a new leaf. I doubt which that. Which could be good for them. Dan Schneider's Dan Schneider. But moving on to uh, Ron Rivera's former team, Carolina Panthers hired Matt Rule, Baylor coach. I think this is also a pretty good hire. One of the better, more promising guys out of college. Like I said earlier, turning the Baylor team around. Stolen out from the nose of the Giants. I think it'll work out. There's a real issue right now. His team doesn't have a quarterback, and that needs to be resolved before they can move on and be successful. Uh, I agree with you. I think it's one of the better coaching hires. But that being said, there are a few concerns. I mean, his career college coaching record is 47 and three. He's one and two in bowl games. He rebuilt both programs he's been at, but again, 47 43. Uh, you. Are Panthers going to be patient enough to let him go through that uh, three to four year process of getting back there? I, it seems like the owner is going to be that do that, but I'm just a little nervous if their owner is going to give him enough time to rebuild the program and build it into what it needs to be. Hey, gave Rivera a while. He'll probably give a uh, rule a while. And finally, the I mean, they fired they fired him though. I, I, and he's won three, or was it two? He's been their coach, best coach three in coach of the years. history, but and they, and they fired there him. There is more so. of that than just uh, him having a bad series of years. I'm just saying, if they win two, two to four games next year, mm-hmm. and then they only win five games the next year, I'm just wondering how much, how long Panthers fans are willing to wait, how long the owners are willing to wait. Panthers fans, let us know what you think down in the comments below. And finally, the Browns hired the Vikings offensive coordinator, Kevin Stefanski. I am glad he's leaving Minnesota. This guy's responsible for Kirk Cousins throwing check down after check down on third and longs. His play calling was suspect and one of the main reasons they got blasted in the NFC divisional round. He was one of the two people, in addition to his offensive line, that could hold back Dalvin Cook during the year and as for the Cleveland it's terrible for them I don't think it'll be very effective with Baker the one solace he's finally going to do what Kitchens did and give Baker a check down to throw to which is something he really needed both guys like I agree with you there both definitely. guys like Eric Bimini Urban Liar and Josh McDaniels all being available it's a questionable move to me I don't think anyone really wants to go for Josh McDaniels now especially since he ghosted the Lions or no Colts last year excuse me but I, I think that it should be better than Kitchens. Oh, it was more experience, but not great. The Vikings offense last year with Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, Stefan Diggs, Dalvin Cook, Irv, Irv Smith, Kyle Rudolph. I, it's it's kind of hard to see how they weren't one of the top five offenses in the NFL. And he was the offensive coordinator. And now he's going to a team with just as much offensive talent, arguably probably a worse offensive line. So it's going to be interesting how that goes. A dysfunctional organization. I don't see them being as hyped up or winning a Super Bowl in the next two years of him as a head coach. No, they keep failing Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, and Odell Beckham Jr. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. Time will only tell. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting us. We will be coming out with our Super Bowl predictions on Saturday, possibly with a few more topics. Like the video. Give us your thoughts on the interesting head coaching hires and coaching hires in general. Subscribe. See you next time.